Do you want to learn how to build something like this? Or what about learning how to create sci fi sound effects? Or do you want to learn more about electronic music and the science of sound? Stick around to learn more about this channel. Hello, my name is Takumi, and I am a musician and an instrument designer. Welcome to our very first installment on a series of video covering music technology. Our first focus of this channel is learning how to create a physical electronic musical instrument, and through this journey, we will acquire many new skills. Building digital musical instrument is a multidisciplinary act. So, by the time we build what we saw in the beginning of this video, we have acquired the knowledge of sound designing, programming, electronics and circuits, rapid prototyping, and more. These are skills that are useful for just about anybody. The videos will be designed for everyone, regardless of their backgrounds. Are you an animator who wants to create sound effects for a film? Or are you an engineer who wants to get into music making? Or are you a musician who wants to spice up their live performance setup with one of a kind instrument? Just about anybody will find what we're learning to be applicable to their specific field or their hobby. What I'm trying to do with these videos is to share what I learned as a music technology major and make those knowledge available for anyone to learn. Also, the tools that we use will either be open source and free or very affordable. We're gonna keep things low cost for everyone, especially during this economic time. Okay, here's an overview of main topics that we will be covering in upcoming videos. Topic 1. Programming One major skill that we will acquire is the ability to design sound and even make music by programming. Programming may seem a bit scary to get into for a lot of people. So, what we're gonna do is use visual programming language instead of the more traditional text-based ones. You may find visual programming to be more intuitive and easier to get the hang of. Rather than typing text exclusively to program, we program by using graphical elements. In a nutshell, we just connect a bunch of boxes together via cables and make sounds. Not only we can use it to sound design, we will explore how it can be used to compose music. In the next video, we will go over more about the two major visual programming languages which are Pure Data and Max MSP. Musicians like Johnny Greenwood of Radiohead, Holly Herndon, Tim Hecker, Altecker, and many other musicians use Max MSP. With Max in particular, we will also be able to do interactive multimedia installation, live visual, or level up your Ableton music production via Max for Live. So what about Pure Data? We can think of it as a more stripped down version of Max. The most appealing part about it is that it's free. As much as I love Max and have used it for many years now, it is rather expensive for people who are starting to get into music tech. Because I want to keep the cost as affordable as possible for everyone, we're going to be using Pure Data instead of Max during the next several videos. And Pure Data has another important feature that Max does not have, which we will get into in the future. That said, I am planning on covering Max eventually as well. And because Pure Data and Max MSP share many similarities, learning Pure Data will make it significantly easier to learn Max. Topic 2 Electronics Basics and Arduino. Another skill that we'll acquire is working with circuits and electronics. By learning about Arduino, which is a microcontroller, we'll learn how to use sensors, buttons, and LEDs. And using Pure Data, we'll be able to use sensor data to control sounds. Circuits in this type of project all boils down to Googling diagrams and recreating it physically, copying and pasting codes from the internet, and not short-circuiting. It's almost that simple, and we'll cover much deeper than that, of course. Topic 3. Concepts. So, we'll be going through some academic papers from a community called NIME, which stands for New Interfaces for Musical Expression We will go through design processes and concepts of novel musical instruments and controllers. I will give you a condensed version of academic articles that will help you come up with your very own instrument designs. It may not seem as flashy or fancy as learning about sensors and laser sound design, 
But studying about design concept is very crucial. Also, I might make videos about acoustic, psychoacoustic theories, electronic music history and notable pieces, as well as composers, and other more conceptual topics in future videos. I'm a firm believer in hands on learning. So, when we cover a topic, we'll be learning it through hands on activities whenever possible. Whether it's using pure data to create synthesizers, or using sensors to control sounds. And our first major milestone is to build what we saw in the beginning of this video. The most important part is patience. We do need to go through several basic topics before we can start building. But I will be doing my best to keep things fun while also making it clear that what we are learning is useful. I am very excited to go on this journey with you. Thank you for watching and please hit that subscribe button and also share this video with your friends who might be interested in learning about music technology. It'll be extremely helpful for the channel. Thanks. As of now, I am planning on doing weekly videos. The next video will be an overview of Maxim SP and Pure Data. Following that, we'll cover introduction to Pure Data and do some basic synthesis. After we cover those, we can start going over circuits and begin building. Okay, see you in the next class. Please take care and stay safe. Bye.